Hello YouTube. So the purpose today of me setting up my camera was to record my roller set. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't see nary a nun a roller up and through my hair. All I see is these twists. And the reason why is because I just lost all my zest and desire to put a roller in my hair. I went through, gathered up all my rollers, complete with the little locking mechanism here, whatever this thing is called. And I was set and ready to go, had my little end papers, see what I'm saying? Was all set and ready, had my set and lotion ready. What is this stuff? Kinky curly spiral spritz. You can see the lid is missing. Well, actually the pump thing is missing because this darn thing never went to the bottom. Like it stopped way high like this here. So I had to remove this so I could use um, the spritz. I was all set and ready to go. And then I just lost my zest to do any type of roller set or like walk around with rollers in my head and all of that. I just was like, you know what? Scrap the roller set for now and I have not given up on it. I will just do it another time So I decided to come on and talk to you about my twists and why I'm doing a twist out instead of a braid out When my braid out is the favorite thing that I do What my favorite hair do the reason why is because when I have my hair in a braid out it gets super stretched and after a day or two after like day one day two day three whatever Beyond that however long I keep it in ends up looking a little something like this Not high, right? Kind of crazy haired. But my twist outs over time start to look better as the days go on. A little something like this. So you see what I'm saying? That's why I am doing a twist out and will probably be doing twist outs for a while, which is a good thing simply because twist outs take me so little time to get done putting the twist in for the twist out because I always wash my hand twist, I detangle in twist, I condition in twist, I just take out the twist that I already have in there, put some product on it and I'm done. I don't have to do anything magnificent. Today my hair is freshly co-washed. After my co-wash, I deep condition with my usual Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner as well as my Old Mix. And after I rinse that out, I pull each twist out, detangled under the running water of the shower, twisted it back up. After all the twists were back in and all my hair was detangled, I applied my leave-in kinky curly not today and on top of that I put a little bit of this oil and on top of that I put this Shea Moisture Kids Curling Buttercream this is almost the same exact thing as the Curl Enhancer Smoothie there are like two or three tweaks in the difference of the ingredients one of which I believe is the Slippery Elm Extract and Hibiscus aside from that the ingredients are almost exactly the same you get less of this in the container and I get the same exact results but I have this in the house so I'm going to use this up before I go and repurchase any more curl enhancing smoothie and then after I got out the shower I just simply took out each twist that was already in place applied some of this curl and spritz stuff and retwisted the twist that was already there didn't use any tools all the tangling that I did got done in the shower didn't have to do that again and this is where I stand in the front I actually do a couple more twists than what I normally have because normally I would have three and three but I want a specific kind of a look so I have what is this three four five six I'm sorry what is this one two three four five on this side so I have two additional now yeah yeah, I have two additional twists on this side that I normally would not have if I didn't want this particular part and strategy going. And in the back, I have, I should be eight. And the reason why I have these two additional is because I like the way this uh, A gives more body and also it covers up parts in the back. So it's 
no distinguishing parts that you can see. So that's why I do that like that in the back. So I don't think I have anything else to share simply because I'm not doing a roller set. It would have been a whole lot more activity and stuff going on, but you know, I just ain't feel like doing a roller set. I don't even know what I'm thinking the outcome of my roller set is gonna be. Like I know back in the day I would do my roller sets and wrap my hair afterward, after it was dry, put some plastic wrap on my hair and sit back under the dryer for like 10 minutes and I would have like a sleek, bouncy kind of a wrap set going on. I know that's not gonna happen this time because it's just not gonna happen with these coils that I have. I don't even know what it's gonna look like or how it's gonna turn out. Excited to find out and hopefully I'll get around to doing it soon. Maybe the next time I wash my hair, it just was not happening today. But anywho, I just wanted to come on and share. And I think that's all I have to say about that. And so until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.